Hey friends, how are you all doing today? I'm gonna paint a sheep, isn't that cute? Here, the photos by Sam Carter on Unsplash. Isn't that adorable? I'll link the photo, photo in this video's description. I tilted the head a little bit more, um, and then I wrote the word love on this 12 by 12 canvas. It's from Michaels. It's, gallery, it's an inch and a half thick, gallery wrapped and splined. It means it has a rubber gasket and it's tucked in there. Here's the chalk pastel from, from Blick. Okay, let's, play, let's paint this cutie pie. Hey friends, let's stop a minute and talk about colors. So I put out titanium white. I like to buy it in the jar. I go through quite a bit. And I put out hooker's green. Can you see that? Looks In my phone it looks darker. Hopefully it'll look better in the video. Um, and then I just mixed those two colors with white and painted the first layer of the background and I thought shoot that's too green <laughs> it was pretty I just um, wasn't crazy about it I just saw a couple of spots here on the side so then I, I put out some phthalo blue green shade it's right there and then I mixed a color that I knew would be bluer than my light green that I mixed with quite a bit of white not much blue at all and some hookers green and I think I like that. I think that's pretty. We'll let it dry. I'm going to run down to the downtown gallery in Omaha, Nebraska, and I'll be back probably tomorrow. Okay, let's stop here. Uh, first colors, I added Burnt Umber and Raw Sienna to my palette. So Raw Sienna, it's almost gone. And Burnt Umber. So this is raw, this lighter creamy color is Raw Sienna with some white. And then I mix burnt umber. I've done this in other videos with phthalo blue green shade, green, phthalo blue green shade, and you get kind of a, 
it can go kind of green it can go kind of blue um, I did get a pretty good gray so you can see that if you go slow and mix um, and that's what's looking black on my cute lamb here hey I need uh, title ideas if you want to drop that in the comments I would love that if you have any ideas I did a and I think I've got a video it's an old painting I called it Mona Felisa, which was, I just love that title, but I don't know that I should use that again. I suppose I could call this Mona Felisa too. Um, let me know. I, you guys are so creative. I love your title ideas. So I just wanted to say what I was up to. And then I just put in, um, the eyes aren't done, but I just put in the shapes, some values. That, eye, that eye's gonna show up a little better. It has a little bit more value change. I don't have any highlights in it. I don't have any of the light fur around it. I don't know, that one, that one doesn't look as good to me on video. It might actually be better than um, how I see it in my phone. Oh, here the nose. So I'm finding some of the details in the nose so I don't lose it. Finding some of the, sh the potential shadows. And then I thought, you know, we're gonna we're gonna work on this live later today. So I thought I'd stop so I don't get too far, and we can make make some good progress on the live. So if you want to go watch that, I'll link that in this video's description. You can go pop over and watch it. I'll also download it right after this point. It'll be time lapsed, and then I'll pop back in after that portion is done, so you know when that time lapse and live is done. It's so fun to hang out with you, and I'll be back after a bit. Hey friends, I'm just popping in. So that last little bit was the live. I'm just kind of finding shapes and this is much darker because I'm going to paint white. It's a white lamb, sheep, it's a full grown, <laughs> so cute. Um, but I'm just kind of finding right now like generally warm on this direction and cool on this direction. Um, the eyes aren't done, that sort of thing. The, the eyeballs are in decent shape. Everything's kind of a little rough, just getting some paint down during the live. I don't know that I have any comments. Um, I'll definitely pop back in when I think of something.
Okay, let's stop here and um, <laughs> let's chat a little bit. So I have a really dark sheep. Um, I've mentioned this before, but it, it's going to kind of help me kind of slow down. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm, what I'm thinking, and well, let's, here, let's, so this isn't, I haven't painted this before. It isn't scripted. This is just kind of how I work through a painting, which I think could be helpful for you guys to see. I'm, I'm getting ready to turn on the lights. I put a little light gray in the eye, put a little white over here. Um, I added cad yellow medium hue to my palette. Cad yellow medium hue. And I added quinacridone magenta. You could just add a pink. I don't know if you can see that if it's focusing. So quinacridone magenta. And then you used to be able to buy a light portrait pink. So I just used white quinacridone magenta and a little raw sienna to kind of warm the pink up a little bit. And I put a hint on the nose, a little on the eye and a little on the ear. So here, let's take a look. But if you, if you can see that, it's pretty messy still. But I'm trying to go loose and messier. I, I put some greens and blues over here to help tighten the background. Because I'm still not liking the background. You guys will chuckle if you know me. The eye is pretty tight now. I darkened it up. Lightened it up. Both of them. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do next might even be tomorrow it's getting late um oh and i added yellow over here just to help warm it up from the cool side that's why i added yellow to my um palette but i think next we're just gonna start adding some whites and just see what happens sorry i was leaning back and looking at it to see what i think i like this looser i'm trying to paint looser just to challenge myself because it ends up looking pretty tight when you get back from it anyway. Um, I'll link uh, Mona Fleece in this video's description. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that. So that's what I'm thinking. I added two colors to my palette. I used some of this color or a similar color over here in my shadows, which I think will help. Um, it won't hurt. Um, there's a rooster video that I'll link in this video description where I took the uh, blue sky color and I put it in the shadow and it's real pretty. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. I'm done. I I like it. <laughs> um, I'm still not sure about this bright background, but you know what? It helps the the sh dolly. I'm I'm titling this dolly. Uh, the people that watch me paint part of this during the live, I'll link that in the video description. Came up with the name. It's great. Or dolly part parton uh, barton. <laughs> um. Oh, what do I want to say? It's much looser than I usually paint, which I like. It looks a little bit like confetti. Um, I pretty much used this half inch flat brush from Michaels. It's fun. Um, I have, here's one from 
Oh, that might be a little smaller. Here's one from Royal and, and Lang Nickel. This one's on number 12. I've got some other flat brushes too. Oh, here's... That one might be the same size. That's a craft brush from Michaels. Anyway, I'm just saying you don't have to like go get this brush. Here's my palette, which I've showed. Um, I added, I'm pretty sure I already mentioned, I added Cad Yellow and Quinacridone Magenta um, because I just wanted to warm it up. I put greens. I don't know if you can see that. It looks a little different when I look in my phone than when I look at it in person. It looks darker and grayer in my phone, and this looks a little bluer in my phone. Um, I'll have to see how the video looks. Here, I put some greens in here. So that's kind of fun. Some blues, I put a little pink. I got the quinacridone out so I could put a little pink on the nose. I got the yellow out so I could lighten up the, the sun shining a little bit. These fun little strokes I think are what really make it. Just little dots, little squiggles over the dark. I, I painted the bottom. I don't worry too much about the bottom. I just want to make sure it continues. Oh, and it, it goes over to the side too. Oh, here are the eyes. I think I've already showed you the eyes. They're pretty much done. Here, hopefully you can. Just blobs. So these are um, skinny strokes with that flat brush, but pretty much just blobbing, which is fun. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. I like putting a little bit of blue in the eyes. I don't think there's any blue in this reference photo in the eyes. Oh, and I put a little pink around the eye. Put a little pink in the ear. Kind of cutens it up. Uh, little spots are fun. There's one over there. I don't know if you can see that one. Okay, guys. I, I don't know if I have any other comments. The sun's coming from this direction. Isn't that cute? Favorite daughter Emily made this for me. She she drew with color pencil and uh, a sharpie, a, a fine sharpie marker, and then she puts clear packing tape over it, and clear packing tape over it, and then just trimmed it out. Isn't that fun? So smart. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, if you give it a try, let me know. As I'm sure I've mentioned, I'll link the reference photo in this the video description. It's been so fun for me to hang out with all of you and share our art journeys together. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.